Life. Life is a disease. A millennium ago, a supreme necromancer was on the verge of conquering the world. But you know what they say about best laid plans. Inevitably, heroes shall emerge. So, I was made dead. Again. But what does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Hmm? Boredom. An eternity to ponder my errors. And how close I came to victory. I am a mortal. But when this world ends, even I will know oblivion. And so, I ask myself, will I be given another chance to rise before it happens? Another chance to fulfill my ambition? Ah, it seems that fate has smiled after all. Welcome to Iritus, Lord of the Dead, folks. Uh, Iritus Lord of the Dead is a hardcore tactical roguelike, as it says here, where you it, basically, if you've played Darkest Dungeon or no Darkest Dungeon, that is what it is. So basically, there is no saving. So if minions die or something terrible happens, that's just what happens. I mean, there's no loading or anything like that. And so, it's turn-based game and it uh, seems like a lot of fun. I have played the tutorial and we are going to start a new game up here. So yeah, I played Darkest Dungeon a lot and I really liked it, so I hope I will really like this one as well. Okay. So, cakewalk or more pain? Hmm. Game mode for beginners, game mode for those who like challenge. I think we're going to go with more pain, right? Yeah. We're going with more pain. Okay, so here is Iritus, the main bad guy. We are bad guys. And we have some undead minions here. So, Iritus has the ability to create uh, minions. Oh, that's not there. It's over here. So, we can create other minions uh, as we like. And there are some that are still locked to us. So, yeah. Right now, we can create skeletons, zombies, Bride of Iritus, Dark Knight, Banshee, or Wraiths. And right now we have a Dark Knight, a Zombie, a Skeleton, and a Bride of Iritus. So over here we have some artifacts, and we have an, a hook, which we're going to Finally equip. this item it finds its way into Enemies 15% likely, less likely to escape. And we have a symbol of fortune. Minions gain plus 25 luck and minus 25 accuracy until the battle ends. I don't really know about that. I mean, luck, good. Accuracy, also really good. So I don't really think I want to use this. I'm not sure though. I mean, the luck is pretty nice. If we take a look at a minion here. So luck shows the likelihood of landing a critical hit. Negative luck on the target increases the luck of the attacker. Okay, we have some different stats here. So we have attack, we have dread, which is for stress attacks. You can stress the enemy out so that uh, he dies or goes insane. He will first go insane and then maybe if uh, his stress is at zero, maybe he will die if he gets more stressed. The attack, then we have the accuracy, evasion, luck. We have our vigor here, the health. We have some armor and resistance. 
a chance to block or ward and we have initiative so initiative is how early in a round uh, the minion gets to act okay so these are the parts for making minions we have flesh bones dust armor blood ectoplasm hearts rags skulls weapons and we need those to create minions so we can see a skeleton here it takes a skull some bones some armor and some weapons and it's different for each unit or each minion what they take to make okay we also have uh, a talent our talents they're here and we have one talent point now this is Icarus or Iritus as he levels up he gets talent points and I think we're going to stick a talent point in this amateur surgeon because we I think we're going to need a lot of parts the and I want to get as many parts their as secrets. I can get okay so that is that we also have a graveyard here we have 20 architect souls at the moment we need those to build buildings here so we could actually make a skeleton and something else so let's actually do that because we want this excavation thing it's because if we stick a unit into the excavation then between uh, or after each battle we get uh, some part of uh, that we will be using to create uh, minions so let's fill this up and craft bones, a skeleton bones, bones. and then we'll fill this up Just and so craft a inspired you know a wraith I think yeah and I think we'll craft dark knight as well yeah. Hardly an inspiring leader, okay. but the dead cannot. So let's go to the graveyard. We could also go with the arena to begin with. Training at the arena, minions gain plus two experience points, supplies after a victory. I think we might actually want to go with that first. So let's do that. Becoming go with that. A and then we'll all stick memories and useful in skills dark for the in there. However, get some new experience that will talk through the application okay. of control. So combat. we also have uh, the dungeon, which is here, and that is where we're going to go now to have our first battle. So. The kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest after conquest, along with ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services in this project, uh, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey and that the human, humans could provide. With dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. Okay, so here's the dungeon, and we start off by going into a battle here. Then we have different things here. We have sacrificial altar, which where we can sacrifice minions to get artifacts. We have a grave here where we can get uh, a minion. And then we have a fountain of restoration where we can restore mana to Irritus or vigor to minions. And there are all kinds of different things here. And we need to move through the dungeon up to somewhere. I don't know where. Far, far away. Up to there, I guess. Uh, to a boss. Okay. And so let's select our squad of minions here and head into battle. get two guys who go first which is unfair in my opinion but that's the way it is so we have some different abilities here on our different minions so we have this one which is a physical attack that's the attack here that determines how much damage we do currently it's 8 to 10 we have another physical attack here smite 
that it attacks twice and does 8 to 10. So, yeah. And then we have some other items here. We have, for instance, the Shield Banger, which is a stress attack. It's our dread that determines how much damage that does. And it deals 120% for 20 to 23 damage. However, this costs ire. It costs 40 ire to cast this thing or use this thing. And we only have 20 right now, so we can't. This is Iritus uh, ire, and this is Iritus mana. Uh, so he has 100 mana right now, but we don't have any spells yet. And he has 20 ire. And as the battle goes on, he gets uh, his ire builds up, and we will be able to use more powerful, uh, more powerful abilities that cost ire to use. So our enemies over here, they have it's two conscripts and a hunky, and the conscripts. Do 12 to 18 physical damage, have 55 vigor and 45 sanity. Hunky here, he does less damage, 8 to 10. He has 85 health and 94 5 sanity. So yeah, so we want to either make these guys go nuts, or we want them to just kill them because they do more damage than the hunky. They have less health, so we want to kill these guys. As soon as we can. So let's do a smite on the front guy here and start working on him. Damn, we missed one of them. Too bad. Okay, so the chest piercer here is very nice, does 18 to 22 damage. She does a lot of damage and she's also pretty squishy. The skeleton is pretty squishy as well. So let's do the chest piercer on this guy. We have the warning shot here, which does stress damage, a buff where she gets plus four attack and plus four dread until the battle ends, and also overwatch where she will do physical damage whenever an enemy moves. But these guys don't tend to move around a lot, I think. So let's do a chest piercer. Ooh, my darling, nice kill. Crit. 38, very nice, he's almost dead. Missed. So let's just fire a volley on this guy. So this more powder is really nice. So the zombie gains plus 100% damage for its next attack. But it takes the turn so it doesn't attack this turn. And we want to get rid of this guy if we can, right? So yeah. And this cannonball also costs fire to use. You can see we're up to 29 now. We started with 20. Let's fire a volley on this guy if we can. If we can. Good. Okay. Now, they took a bit of sanity damage. And I think that's because their buddy died. So what we could do is either do some stress attacks on him, try to kill him that way, or do the physical damage. And I think we're going to go with physical right now. This guy, 15 damage, very good. So it said that it would do 67, but then there was plus 50%, or I think it's plus 50% of the armor and the uh, resistance that he has. So we'll keep working on this guy, take him out. 20 damage, he's down to 20 bigger now. So that's good. And we will... Maybe I'm not taking him out. Okay, ten. Okay. They really like going for our squishy skeleton here, which is a little bit annoying. So how much health do you have left? Ten. So if we hit with this volley, he's dead. Which we did not. Uh, then hopefully we will hit with the heartless slash. So yeah, six to seven damage but deals additional damage equal to 50% of the sum of the Dark Knight's armor and resistance. And we have 16, so that's 8. Extra damage. This is so my kind of killer. entertainment. Very good. Now it's just the last guy here, and... We'll just smite him. Very nice, 18 damage. We'll do the chest piercer. And this first fight is pretty, pretty easy. 
I think we'll use the abyssal hunger. It'll use up some iron, 60 iron. We have 73, but it'll heal him up uh, a bit. So I like. So there we go. So if we can get him out of the battle without having taken taken damage, that would be really nice. We'll do another volley, I think. There we go, 12 damage. And another chest piercer. Could take him out. Nope. And then we'll do smite. Could take him out. Very good. So that's the first battle one. I'd hate uh, to see plants using it as a skeleton. Fertilizer. Got a little bit injured or wounded. Well, quite a bit wounded, so he's not going out in the next battle. Iritus, he got 100 experience. We got some architect souls, some rags, armors, skulls, bones, ectoplasm, and flesh. Okay. Good. So, graveyard events. The Dark Knight got drained a bit. So let's uh, have a look at the Dark Knight here. He has now leveled up to be a level two Dark Knight. So what we could do is I really like his Heartless Slash ability. So I think we'll increase that or give, we have, we can either choose this one, Death Comes for Everyone. We have two options for each of his abilities, right? We can choose the one on the right or the one on the left. We can't get both ever. So I like this one over here. It gives him plus one armor. The other one gives him plus three attack, which is really nice. But uh, this deals additional damage equal to 75% of the sum of Dark Knight's armor and resistance. And I really like that. So I think we're going to go with that. I expect results. Okay. And then we will... I guess we'll use the wraith here and over here we can stick in our skeleton powerful aura of death fully restores vigor applies after victory except quest battles so he will get fully restored after a battle here and i think do we want to get the other dark knight up to level two as well i think we do so let's do that Actually, do we have enough? No, we only have 12, so we can't build this excavation thing yet. So, that is going to be it. So we didn't get any art, new artifacts or anything, so we are going to go back to the dungeon. And we're going to go over here to the grave and get ourselves a free skeleton. Or free minion, not necessarily a skeleton. Certainly not a skeleton. Ooh, this is a new one. I haven't seen this one before. We're definitely going to grab him, because it's always fun to see something you haven't seen before, right? And we can craft these two. I don't think we can craft this guy. So let's see what he is. Let's close this and let's have a look at the leech here. Okay, so 90 bigger. That's pretty decent. He has no armor or resistance, which is really bad. He has two wards, though. So two spells or something like that will be repelled by him he has very very good damage and dread he has some luck he has four initiatives as everyone else and he has some abilities here we'll take a look at them in battle we're going to take him out to into battle right now we'll take him out instead of the bride actually I want to see he really wants to be somewhere in the back and you really want to be in position three so we'll leave him there in the back row and we will go out and do this next battle oh so, yeah Okay, so we have four dudes here. Oh, is he absorbed it? These guys really hurt. Uh, 
uh, miners, they can really, really do a number on you. Uh, so we have the Hunky here with 85 health, 95 insanity, 75, 75 for the miners. And the miners do way more damage, so we want to get rid of them first. Uh, let's do Terra Wave on them. Yeah. Okay. Now these miners, they have two blocks, which means that two physical attacks will be blocked completely unless uh, they crit, then they will not block. Magic attack deals 100%, 19 to 22 damage. That's very nice. So random enemy though. Buff selected ally gains plus 12 attack and plus check. Well, bread for one turn, that's very nice. Kills an ally, this leech and all allies gain plus 40 bigger. I'm not gonna kill one of my allies. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do the magic attack. Okay, so I get him, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Let's Yeah, so these guys are really annoying with their blocks because we're gonna miss so let's do the hollow stair and stress this guy out okay I pushed him back once let's hmm you know what let's do more powder Smack one of these guys later. Okay. Let's give this to you. Okay. This guy's really hurt. Really, really hurt. Let's stress this guy out some more. Yeah, let's stress him out. Okay. And you are going to do a stress attack on everyone here. Nice, he's insane. Nice block. Our Wraith here comes with one block and two boards from the get-go. We'll give him more powder. It stacks, so give him some more powder and next time we will fire our cannonball, I think. Uh, unless we want to do another Terra Wave. Hmm. Let's curse him. Oh, in metal target. We can only do the front two. So let's curse this guy. Well, we cursed him. It hits two targets. So. Okay. Let's do the magic attack on someone. Very nice. Ow. Okay, armor absorbed it. They really do do a lot of damage. Uh, let's do the hollow stare on this guy. Can we do that? Yes, we can. So he is basically out of sanity. Almost. That's good. Alright, let's cannonball this guy back here. And hope that we kill him. <laughs> nice. This we never did. gets old. He went insane. So minus 75 or 75% chance. 75% chance to attack an ally. Nice. And he has the same. Alright. Let's deal some more stress damage. There we go. He's also insane now. He's attacking his ally. He's attacking his ally, very nice. 
What's this guy? Hopeless. Loses 50% attack, reduces luck to zero, loses all armor and resistance, loses all current stacks of block and war. Very nice. Very, very good. Okay, we will hollow stare this guy. Let's that we kill him. He missed. Don't. Oh, I guess he closed his eyes or something. Okay. I think we'll do. I guess we'll do more powder. I guess we'll do more powder. Okay. You do your thing. Alright. Absorbed it. Let's do it again. Okay. Now that's gonna be the mark. Yeah, yeah, they killed each other. Very good. And he is attacking him. Took away one of his blocks, which is good. Let's give him a stare. Might kill him. It didn't though. And. I guess we'll do an igniting mixture on the mist. Okay, do a stress attack on him. Get this stress completely down. Okay, so he's above. Didn't seem to matter though. We'll do a terror wave. No, we won't. We will curse. Yeah. Good. One of them died, and the other one died. Very nice. Mine is the wind. So no deaths, but quite a few wounds. No deaths, but quite a few wounds. We got a brain, which we can use to upgrade one of our minions. And we got some weapons and other stuff. Very nice. Okay. So our skeleton is now 100% healed, and our Dark Knight has been restored. So if we grab our skeleton here, we grab our Dark Knight. Our Dark Knight has leveled up. So, and I think we're going to go with the same one here. Now, prove yourself worthy of And we're of course going to stick him in. I think the zombie is going to go in the there. Mm -hmm. And I think I want to get the even more powder. The zombie gains plus 100% damage and plus 20 accuracy for its next attack. Get okay, back going to, grab to that. battle. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, the game is brand new. It's uh, out in early access on Steam. So if you're interested in it, that's where to get it. And it's uh, a heck of a lot of fun. So I, I highly recommend uh, the game. It's it's really a great game. But we're going to go with this for our next outing, I think. We're going to stick our zombie in the mortuary. And let's see, can we create stuff? We have unlocked the lich now. What does he cost to make? Okay. So, what do we want to make? We're going to need another skeleton to unlock one of the buildings I know. Do we want to make anything? Is the question. I think we'll make another wraith and then let this guy stay out. Let's battle this time. Oh, we can't. We don't have enough ecto ectoplasm. Okay. Make a banshee, maybe? Let's make a fancy, fancy, and craft her. Oh dear, it's okay. time for your performance. And I think I'll give her the brain. And what are we going to? I really like this soprano thing. So this thirty percent six to six damage. Minus four attack and four evasion. 
And this one is just minus six attack, no minus evasion. So I think we're going to go with this one over here. Serve me well, plus three my evasion as well. minion. Well, that's good. Okay. And we can play the Banshee instead of the Wraith so that he can heal up a bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoy Iratus, Lord of the Dead. I know I do. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to be recording it uh, quite a bit, I think. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.